You also have to know how to navigate the galaxy. This is the way. Hey everyone, this is Digital Charcuterie. If you're new to the channel, click the subscribe button. We are a charcuterie board of digital content. And if you like this video, feel free to force push that like button. Let's get into it right now. What the heck is going on with this Dave Filoni Favreau Mandover? We know Filoni is getting a movie reportedly 2026. Let's not hold our breath so it could come whenever. But the movie is coming. And if I've learned one thing from the Disney era of Star Wars. It's trust Dave Filoni. He delivers. When he says something's coming, it is coming. But Favreau recently said, I believe at Star Wars Celebration, that they like to pick and choose things from legends. That got me thinking. I also started thinking about the Rangers of the New Republic, how that show is no longer coming to fruition because of the Gina Carano mess situation, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but we have Carson Teva and there seems to be little pieces of Rangers of the New Republic sprinkled throughout the Mando verse already. And obviously the Ahsoka show Shows coming and skeleton crew whatever that could be and I started thinking about putting these pieces together and Favreau like I said mentioned something I believe at Star Wars Celebration about legends and how they like to pick and choose things from legends and play with things and they talk about it and they like to pretend that they're playing with their toy box and we're all under the assumption that Thrawn is the big bad of the Mandoverse and he very well could be I have no evidence to support that he is not but what could Thrawn's play be we know the shadow council there and we know all roads lead to the sequel trilogy theoretically not necessarily we're on separate sides of the galaxy one part of the galaxy leads towards the sequel trilogy but other things are going on as well maybe not as big maybe even bigger who knows one thing we know from legends is the Yuuzhan Vong big threat just were afraid of them they were humanoid or sensitives couldn't really feel them there's a lot going on with the Yuuzhan Vong a big threat big war potential for a big climatic event when we're dealing with Thrawn and Ezra and finding them they are somewhere in the, the beyond somewhere in the outer past the outer rim they are far far away and there's gonna be a rescue mission to retrieve them and we know that they'll obviously be, re be retrieved but the outcome of that we don't know yet now Mandalorian season 4 has been written and rumored for production is set to begin in October whether that's factual or not we don't know but the scripts have been said to have been written possibly using key elements from Rangers of the New Republic with Din and Grogu and Carson Teva maybe Zeb other members kind of joining forces I believe season 4 of the Mandalorian will go will revert back to season 1 and 2 and there'll be individual maintained episodes but there's going to be a greater story at play as things start to develop in the Mandalorian season 4 we could could see potentially that they're discovering some forces coming from unknown regions from far away. Skeleton Crew has a group of four kids who are jettisoned from their planet and they meet up with uh, Jedi Jude Law. I hope his name is just J-Law. And I guess he tries to bring them back to their home planet. We don't really know what's going on but we know that there's like funky stuff going on. They could encounter something as well. Things, we could be getting little tidbits and little pebbles and pieces of information that lead us towards the Yu Zon Vong coming which could lead into the big theatrical film that is the Mandoverse film directed by Dave Filoni which would make sense he said it's not actually the end of all of these shows so if that's the big event it would make sense and, and don't forget Reb, uh, Ahsoka is basically Rebel season 5 and we're going to get Jason Sandula. you have force sensitive Jason Sandula, force sensitive Grogu at your hands who cannot sense the Yuuzhan Vong big massive threat and the one for me the one key factor in all of this is in Legends Boba Fett led the Mandalorians against the Yuuzhan Vong Boba Fett we know leading into Mandalorian probably wouldn't have done that but the Boba Fett we know after the book of Boba Fett would absolutely lead the Mandalorian in an attack against the Yuuzhan Vong and I would suspect he would be completely kick-ass in it and would also perish as well that's my speculation I think the Yuuzhan Vong are coming and I think that is going to be our Mandoverse movie I think Thrawn for all it's worth he is not the big bad he is not the villain that we think he is he is a a villain and he is the villain of the Ahsoka show and he is the point half the point of the Ahsoka show but I think you got Thrawn, Dark Jedi, Ahsoka, Rebels crew, Mandalorians now united, Boba Fett leading the charge, Yuuzhan Vong are coming and they're gonna come hard and it is gonna be an epic movie event. That's what I'm thinking what do you guys think let me know in the comments down below and until next time I have spoken.